We are here focus. with a man of the hour, Mr. Caleb. Um, first of all, what do you want to say to MK, man? I'm bummed. She she sang her heart out, did that. Um, oh, yeah. You know, how, how, what do you want to say to her? Uh, MK, you're the bomb. Uh, you know, I thought you killed that uh, save song. And, uh, you know, I just wish the judges would have saved you. I mean, you're just one badass mother trucker. And, yeah. uh um, you know, and I'm going to miss you and uh, just keep trucking because you got a big, bright future ahead of you. She always wears hats. Have you ever thought of stealing one of her hats and wearing it on stage? Or do you need this to be like no, out so you can rock she, it? Yeah, she's pretty gangster. I'm not that. I'm not. I'm not gangster like her. You know? Not gangster. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. A, I'm not thug nasty. I can't do that. I can't. Pull uh, it, but if you were a thug for a day, what would Caleb's uh, rapper name? What would your name be? Um, what would my uh, rap name be? Uh, Four chains. Ooh, that would be dope, right? So when two chains comes out, you're like, we're past that. Why don't you add two to that, two chains? <laughs> exactly. Uh, it was awesome to see you sing a top ten song because yeah. I think especially your younger fans can relate. Remind everybody what song you sang. I sang uh, Lady Gaga's uh, Edge of Glory. Yes, but you definitely put, I mean, her. She that was more of a rock-ish song for her, yeah, but yeah. you made it rock. Um, yeah. When you took on that song, what was kind of like your game plan to make it a Caleb song? You know, I just... And, and I and I am like I am a huge fan of Lady Gaga's and, and I when I when I bought the uh, Born This Way record like I felt like that was a straight up rock record. Yeah. I mean it had a lot of electronic stuff on it, but you know Born This Way is like a straight up rock song. Uh, uh, Mary the Night that's like all big you know big bombastic theatrical rock songs. And uh, when I chose that song, I was like, man, I could turn this into like a Bruce Springsteen classic, you know, Bob Seger like. Yeah. You know, because it's, it's got that real powerful, almost kind of like a meatloaf type uh, bombast. It's like a big bombastic theatrical song. And I was like, man, I could just take that and strip it down and make it slower and it could be just a ballad, you know. And uh, and that was the goal that I wanted to do. I mean, I got mixed reviews, but I mean, I felt like I did a great job, you know. But You know what? We liked it. That's all that matters. Right. Lastly, what oh, outfit? Yeah. <laughs> We're not the judges, but the fans are. Yeah. Uh, lastly, what would uh, outfit of Lady Gaga's would you never be caught dead in besides all of them? But, you know, anything that you saw since you sang her song that if they would have tried to put you in, you'd have been like, no. You know, there was a joke that they were going to put me in the meat outfit. <laughs> you should have rocked it. And uh, I was just kind of like, man, you know, that is just too disgusting to try to do that. I don't know. I mean, that's her whole artistry persona, persona thing, but you got to be pretty uh, pretty out there to try to just wear raw meat, you know, on uh, on an award show. But that was a, that was a joke at the, stu at the uh, studio about Kevin's going to come out in a meat suit. I was going to come down like Texas Chainsaw Sal on like a meat hook and like come down and like then go into the song. But no, we, we, we didn't do it. Well, Damn, hopefully I'm you'll drunk. see. You like, like <laughs> right. Yeah. Hopefully you'll see Caleb sober next week in some bacon. We love it. Sweet. All right. Good job, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thank good you. Talk.